up to a foreign farming in the Philippines. All right, so I made a few little changes here. Uh, I've got the big compressor going. I cut all these lines. I only had so much uh, line to work with. And so I cut all those to fit in the buckets. They're still deep enough uh, to uh, put oxygen in this tank here. I moved that one large stone into here because this tank here is full. I mean, it's got over a thousand fry and fingerlings in it. And uh, so we're going to begin filling up this one next. Uh, and in order to do that, we have to have it oxygenated. <clears throat> so I put the big stone in here and uh, we've already put give or take about a hundred in here as you can see I've got water coming into this tank two different places that line right there and this one right here so this one here is coming from that last tank uh, the other one is coming from the crayfish tank the round tank uh, before I uh, put the carabao manure in there, I'm going to try circulating water through it for 24 hours, this fish tank water here. So I've got it pumping out right now. That uh, It's the same pump that we use to uh, water the, the garden up here with. So I'm going to let it pump down for about four inches worth and then I'm going to start putting uh, water back into it and we're just, I guess what you can say is we're expanding our uh, never-ending stream here instead of just using these tanks here as a fertilizer base we're going to be utilizing the round tank as well. <clears throat> Two reasons. Uh, it's a much larger tank and don't have to worry about... So here when we use, because uh, the pump was put in this last tank here, so that uh, as the water is pumped in from that little circulation pump there into the first tank it, uh, it you know, it goes all the way through and then these through tanks here and this is the actual uh, tank that we pump water out of and it holds I don't know a couple hundred gallons on a serious watering uh, we pump it dry and uh, we're not too happy with that that's one of the reasons why we lost uh, all those crayfish because what happens there's a there's a half inch transfer pipe um, way down low you know, you're not going to be able to see it. So that these tanks are about a foot deep. <clears throat> and what happens is that a snail, <clears throat> and I've tried every way to get the snails out of these, it seems like it's impossible. What happens is that a snail will crawl over the opening on one of those little half inch pipes and get stuck. And so the water doesn't drain from tank to tank. And it ends up, uh, when we're pumping water out to irrigate the garden, it pumps this uh, last tank dry. And there'll be, you know, it could be the plug is here, whichever, but uh, it, uh, the low water level stops where the, wherever the plug is. So uh, we won't have to worry about that utilizing the round tank and uh, it'll give some uh, water circulation and we'll be able to basically fertilize that round tank hopefully we'll if that's the way it'll work out is we'll fertilize that round tank there are i don't know 150 or so crayfish in it but i don't think that i just don't think that's enough biomass to keep uh, that azola uh, thriving with as much the Azola duckweed thriving as much as uh, we're taking out of it. So we're going to pump in fish water. 
and I'm going to wait 48 hours to see how it does with the uh, fish water in it because it's going to come uh, right from these tanks here and see how it see if it makes a difference and if it doesn't make a difference then we'll put the manure in it and uh, call it good uh, we will keep pumping out of this tank uh, regardless because it's a nice big water reserve and we don't have to worry about snails plugging up the uh, transfer pipes all right so it's going in there <clears throat> Uh, it's a lot of water. I'm going to slow that down to a trickle here shortly because that's way more volume than this small little pump can pump out. I just wanted it to go there for a little while so that it would uh, have enough surge in it to create uh, a circular water flow and you can see it's, it's already starting to uh, come around the bend here. So as soon as this, uh, as soon as the water starts going in a complete circle, I will uh, slow that down. Because I can't, uh, I can't let it get over you know, the edge of the tarp right there. Or else the crayfish will crawl out. So that'll help out uh, in this tank, I'm hopeful. And a couple things here. Look, there's no shade really over this uh, round tank. The water's not hot. I mean, it, it's being pumped out. I, you know, I stuck my finger under the stream that's coming out. It's not overly hot. But then again, it's only like one o'clock in the afternoon. It's, it uh, has the potential to become much hotter than what it is. This tree here shades it until about 11 o'clock in the morning. This is like an almost complete shade. So it's not a shade issue. If it was a shade issue, the azola would be dying. It's a nutrition issue, and that's why the duckweed is just not looking too chipper. So hopefully this will solve our problem, and I won't have to uh, put uh, carabao dung in it. Because I really, you know, I don't want to overwhelm the crayfish. Alright, that's got it all moving in a circle, so I'm going to cut that flow down. This is working out really well, so I'm going to stop. Uh, I've probably done, I don't know, at least 50% uh, water change. So I'm going to shut this water off coming into it. Uh, Marcel's watering right now, and I'm going to be watering all day tomorrow. So, uh, and I'll be watering out of this crayfish tank. because this is where all the uh, the nutritious water is. I've got to do just like I did last week. I've got to water all the bananas. I'm going to start early so I can get it all done in one day. Uh, all the bananas uh, around the piggery here and around the round tank the ones around the garden, and then I've got to water all the limoncito and squash around the garden, so it's going to be a full day tomorrow watering. But uh, we're luckier than most, at least we have the water to do it. Thank you everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.